Is test automation the best solution? If you are looking for the answer to this question, then you must watch my today's presentation. Today we will discuss about test automation and we will try to see if test automation is the best possible solution for testing. Hello friends, welcome to my channel Q Analysis and please feel free to like, share and subscribe my channel if in case you wish to learn more on quality analysis and software testing. So here we go. Before we start answer to this question, we should understand what is automation testing. Many of you would be thinking about it, okay, what exactly is automation testing and how it is done. Automation testing is nothing, it is just a part of uh, testing which is being done using automation tools and a script through which actual versus predicted uh, outcomes they are being verified. So the execution and verification process or the comparison of result is being done using automation script or some of the automation tools. Now when we talk about the solution over here, automation testing, automated testing and test automation, these all are same. We can use it interchangeably. In this automation testing, the whole scenario is like designing of test cases, analysis, and then reviewing it, reviewing the source code, developing the source code, and then designing of uh, test cases, uh, preparing test cases, test planning, automation based upon all this process, and then deploying those test cases. After that, doing the integration with the system, and then brainstorming and figuring out where something went wrong, updating the code, and uh, making the configuration and using it in such a way so that whatever thing which was done in manual way and it was taking more time using automation you can do the same thing in less amount of time so here comes my first point which we are, will, will help us to find the answer to our question automation just eliminates repetitiveness yes friends so when we talk about automation uh, automation testing Anything which is repetitive and when it is done using human way, it will take a lot of time and we know it is the same process which is being done again and again and again and again. Using automation, you can do the same thing, anything which is repetitive and requires human intervention again and again. It can be done by a machine using the script or using the tools in a very easy manner and you don't have to do the repetitive task. So automation just eliminate the repetitiveness. It doesn't ensure that whatever you are doing and, and it is of high quality. You are just designing certain cases and you think it was taking a lot of time earlier. Now it should be taking less time. Second point. Our second point talks about automation ensuring timeliness but not quality. Exactly friends. There is always a trade off between the speed and quality whenever it comes to testing or development. We need to develop things at a high speed and when you do so, the quality of your deliverable may get impacted. It is not necessary but it may get impacted. Time is money in today's IT market. So time to deliver is very important. The way you are developing things, you are testing it and the time which is reaching to market, time to market, it should be short because there is so much of competition and that is the reason we need speed. So there is often a compromise between quality and speed whenever or a trade-off between speed and quality and using automation you can receive you can achieve speed but it doesn't ensure that you will be having the quality as well okay friends so this is also a very important point which talks about automation ensuring timeliness but not quality here comes my third point and in this third point we'll talk about Realistic versus predefined approach. Whenever we talk about automation, it has two approaches. First, realistic, like a system, how it will behave in a real time environment, and a system which is developed and is to be tested as per the predefined steps. Like we already know, these are the test scenarios which we are going to, these are the error handling scenarios, these are the expected outcome. So, that is a predefined approach. But when a normal user or a functional tester or a manual tester is testing it, at that very time, you could have so many realistic issues coming in, so many realistic scenarios that need to be covered 
as a part of realistic testing that cannot be covered as a part of automation. For automation, you have to have a predefined approach, a framework and scenarios which you want to do. You can see here in this cartoon, wait, stop, this isn't part of the script, exactly. Same is true with the automation as well. If something which is not scripted, you cannot make sure that it will work. So going forward to our fourth point, which talks about not good for new and unstable system. Yes, my friend, automation is not at all a good option for new and unstable system. Whenever you have a system which is not stable and you don't know so system requirements are not defined and it is in its initial phase and it, or it is developed in the first time. So a unstable system or a newly developed system and doing automation on top of it is a very bad solution. Never go for it. So unstable solution is very dynamic and for dynamic, dynamic systems automation is not at all a good option because you don't know what weight is going to impact or what way, what is its expected behavior? There can be several possible combinations, permutation and commission combinations possible, and you would be putting a lot of effort. And later on, you realize no, these are not something which will happen in future once the system gets stable. So, for unstable system, automation is a very bad solution and should not be implemented at all. Okay, now if the system gets stable once you have certain releases and the system is getting stable it is looking better and then you do the automation as per your standard procedure with the framework then yes it is a very nice solution it can be a good solution it can help you to uh, reduce the work and improve uh, your timeliness and deliverable uh, times and at the same time it can ensure or verify things for the stable system in a much better way than the way automation does it for an unstable and new system. So please refrain yourself for using automation for a newly developed or unstable system. I won't suggest to do it because doing automation for an unstable system is a very bad idea. So here we come to our fifth point and this fifth point talks about more of a checking. Automation does more of a checking than testing. Yes, automation is more like checking and not testing when i say checking it it's a kind of checklist we have predefined scenarios and we know this is things to be tested for example let's say we have to check about the system configuration we have to test about the expected input and output we have certain test cases some actions and those test cases actions scenarios are being tested as a part of automation but actual testing is not like that. Whenever we say testing and quality, it is always about finding bugs and making your system, making your service bug free. So let's talk about ad hoc testing. You don't do or exploratory testing. You don't do any planning. You don't do any scripting. You have a charter, you have a timestamp, and then you go ahead and try to figure out as many bugs as you can in a given timestamp, depending upon the tester's skill and experience. So testing cannot be performed uh, using automation it is just checking so these were my five points please feel free to share your comments in the comment section and do like share and subscribe my channel i look forward to your support it takes a lot of effort to make such kind of videos please friends i request you to support me thank you have a nice time see ya bye bye